So we had a customer, they had a question on how to adjust their dose amount. Uh, what kind of machine is this? This is a Mythos. Uh, this is a Mythos Basic, but the same goes for Mythos Basic, Mythos Plus, or the Mythos One. So to get into programming, you want to be on double. This one's in automatic pre-select, so the only way to adjust your grind dose is to get into programming. So to get into programming, you press and hold your, your uh, play and your asterisk button, and now we're in the program doses, so we select the dose we want to change. And here, so all of our buttons are corresponding to what's on the screen. So minus to test it, uh, plus to set it. Always remember to hit set if you've done a change and you want to keep it. And of course, this is to continue on to the next menu. So if I want to change this up, say it's not dosing enough, then so that was 2.8. Now I'm at 2.9 seconds. And then of course to test it, I need to have a portafilter filter there. Hit test. And then of course you can weigh that. Or if you're just doing it by sight. So anytime you do a change, make sure you hit set. And now you continue to change your different other doses. You can go back into double if you want, or you can change the triple dose, or you can change the single dose. Gotcha. And of course, to go to the next menu, you just press over here. And here we have delay, which typically there should be no reason to change this. A pulse. I'm sorry, what's the delay? Delay is after you've put the portafilter in and you're done, it's going to delay one second before you can actually do it again. Do it again, okay. Because it's just going to assume that you accidentally pulled it forward. Um, a pulse is, is for this button here, so if you just wanted to add a little bit more coffee, that's what this button is for. So you can set that uh, time up or down. And of course you can test it and of course to set it you just hit set and then go to here you can go in to your individual buttons and see dose counts uh, this is our total counts of how much the machine has done is that six seconds six doses oh gotcha and i believe you press and hold that it resets it This is where it last started from a reset, and then uh, how much of our continuous time or annual time. This is this is a number of most maintenance for technicians. You should be paying attention. Your general time is how long the grinder has run as far as the motor is going. Uh, generally, the steel burrs are good for about 40 hours. So this is um, a, a point. This is 11 seconds, 11 seconds of okay. time. Okay. So um, does it, can you reset this? No, you cannot reset this. So your tech has to document the time when he changes yes. the burrs? Okay. Yes. Okay. So you want to, you do want to document your time. Can you program it to prompt for preventative maintenance? Yes, that's going to be in our next. Oh, so okay. here our maintenance is on if you wanted to change it to off. Uh, keep in mind, there's, I call it a glitch in the software where it's going to prompt for the maintenance no matter what. Regardless if, if you turn it off? If okay. it's off or on. Do you know how how many cycles? So that that's be? our next menu. So it's set for 50,000 cycles. Okay. It's not based on time. It's based on how many something's been dosed. Okay. And so if you need to reset that, so if the grinder prompts for a maintenance, it'll say on the front maintenance and it'll beep at you. Uh, this is where you'll press and hold the reset, which is corresponding right there. And of course, if you wanted to bump this time at how many, it's, it's, it's going to only do it in thousands. So the max is a hundred thousand. Do you, do you normally use this? Or yeah. you just leave well, it we be. don't use it. We max it out to a hundred thousand because most of our clients were on a regular basis, 
and we reset it every time we go out there. So they're on a regular preventative maintenance cycle? Yeah. Is that what and you're saying? we're always okay. looking at the time on the grinder. Okay. And we'll go ahead and set that. If you need to reset the default settings, that's what that, you would hit that button and it would reset to factory defaults. This is where you can change the operation of the grinder. So we were in automatic pre-select. Let's say they want it in, in just a manual mode where they're just literally putting the portafilter in and pulling it when they think they got enough coffee in there. And or a barista operation is where you can actually change the dose time uh, on, the main, on the main menu. So if we go ahead and leave it a barista, stop and go is so that while you're in the middle of grind, you can pull to settle and then put it back in and it'll continue to its end time. If that's off, what does it do? Uh, when you pull it, it won't allow you to put it back in. It'll reset. It'll reset. I gotcha. So that you should have that on. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not that you should have it on. It's just that... It seems like it's a... just a preference. Okay. Here you can change your language. Mm -hmm. And of course we're back out. So now we're in barista mode. Now we can actually change our dosing time in, in the main menu. Okay. Of course our stop and go feature is, so now I pulled it, there's still 1.34 seconds left. And of course it's waiting for me to put it in to finish it out. Wow. So if I do this and I decide, oh, I hit the wrong button, you can hit that button to reset it back and then go to your correct button. So here's our delay. So it delays for a second. We have some great pricing on these Mythos grinders. So if you are interested, reach out to us.